morning, it's Rachel here and we are going to do the 100 date project. Now this project is inspired by a wonderful um, watercolour artist called Fiona Hayes and she's on Instagram and I'll link her Instagram below. Um, I was lucky enough to grab one of her journals. She doesn't make many journals but occasionally she does and she offers them for sale on her um, Instagram and you have to be very quick. I don't think she takes custom orders um, and inside I was just flipping through it. I just love it. Um, I saw this envelope that she's done. Now this one has a lovely interior and um, she's tea dyed it or coffee dyed it but I liked the way she folded back the the back of the envelope and she's put it in as a page in the journal. And I just thought that was fabulous. So I thought we could do our version of it, inspired by Fiona. Um, I always like to give credit to whoever the person is that came up with the idea. Um, so I've just cut one and, and folded it. So I wanted to show you how I did that. So um, I want my window to be more at the top. So I've got my envelope upside down. And then I trimmed off the edge. And you can trim as much or as little as you like. Trim that off Oops. there, not the bottom where the where the flap is. And you want your envelope to be closed at the bottom, I think, yes. And then this is already cut open because that's how I opened the envelope. And then here, I'm going to trim off the edge there. Then it's very simple. It's a wonderful idea, Fiona. I don't think Fiona watches YouTube, but anyway, um, we do converse a little bit on interact a little bit on, not converse, interact a little bit on um, Instagram. You can fold it down this far, you could fold it down further if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go like that for now. I'll prepare one more. I don't know, there's quite a lot of collaging to do on this because um, I don't obviously have a nice inside of my envelope. So um, I will have to cover it all up. I've got a stain on my, oh no, what is that? Some sort of I just washed this. I don't know. It's got I've got some sort of I think I've got paint on it. I think that's paint. You probably can't see anyway what I'm talking about, but anyway. Um, I've got a bit of paint on my my sweater, shall we say? My hoodie. I call it a hoodie, everybody knows hoodie. Now this one wasn't folded properly when they closed it, but we'll just go with it. Okay. And you could get creative with how you're folding at the back too. Um, I'm not going to get creative. <laughs> I'm just going to do whatever's easy. I think I'll fold this one down a bit further than the others, like that. There we go. Okay, so now we need to get the collaging happening, 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 happening. And I need to glue that down. Like, you could even, if you really want to go crazy, you could, no, you don't want to do that. Just fold that down. And I'm going to glue that. So let's do that first on all of them. I just thought, oh, such a clever way to use an envelope. I haven't seen that before. Has anyone seen anyone do that before? I haven't. I've just seen it in the journal that I bought from Fiona. I actually bought it quite a long time ago. I think it was one of the first journals I ever bought from anyone. But as I said, she's a watercolour artist, so she doesn't always um, do paper. You know, I do journal things. And we'll trim off any excess. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We are well, just busy, 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 busy. Okay. So yes, I chatted to my mum today. Boy, is she having fun with that journal. I can't believe it. She, I mean, mum is a sewer. She's been a sewer ever since, you know, she's been a textile person ever since I was born, really. Oh no, she started off with pottery when we were little and I remember she had a kiln and a pottery well and she used to make pottery and then she went into in the 70s she went into um uh, what are they called tapestry like not tapestry not tapestry what are they called um weaving she did weaving and um and you know like even some companies bought her weaving and had them on you know in their conference rooms and stuff like that um and then she went into quilting, I think, and embroidery. So, um, and she had a nice group of ladies. I used to love, uh, I used to love when I, well, I didn't love it not being well, but I loved it when I, had, you know, maybe had a cold or something like that. And it would be sewing day. Mum would go every two weeks, they'd go to someone's house. They had a group 
and they'd all go to that person's house and have lunch and you take your lunch. I used to love it. I used to just desperately not want to go to school that day so I could go with mum. And I used to do my cross stitch and and uh, I was just I just used to love it. I even to the they just stopped like I, I don't know how many years ago. Um doing it because it's become harder and mum's not in the city anymore and stuff like that but I've even been in the not that long ago like maybe five years ago I think maybe six years ago with Lily when she was little we went actually the last one we went to was in I think it was in Little Bay in Sydney um, to one of mum's friends so um, yeah I used to love that so my, anyway mum back to the story mum is actually a sewer not a paper crafter and I think she was a bit like me that it sort of was a bit freaky to her. But she she's having a ball. Let me tell you that. That's what I want to tell you. She's having a ball with the paper, which is really surprising to me. And she said she keeps finding things to put in it, you know, around the house that maybe I've sent her or my aunt's given her or someone else has given her. She's just got all these amazing treasures. It's going to be like a, a treasure book. And then I dreamt last, I'm so desperate to see it, I dreamt last night, I was trying to teach mum how to, how to, I'm going to put this paper here, I was going to try to teach mum how to send me a photograph on Instagram, <laughs> and I was actually at the hairdressers looking like a monster, with my mask on, and, and I uh, had the mask on, and, um, <laughs> And all the stuff in my hair. And then they'd put, you know, they put the plastic gown on you so you don't get hair colour on your clothes. And they'd pulled it up over my head. You know, because it makes the, they told me it makes the thing, you know, the colour set better. And so I'm sending these screenshots. <laughs> and kept capturing myself as well because I was trying to show mum how to, how to um, you know, send photographs on Instagram. Anyway, I didn't get any photographs, did I? But mum probably got a fright and I didn't get any photographs. So I was desperately wanting to see what she was doing. I said, please, can you send for I said, send photographs to Sarah. We want to see. I'll get Sarah to put them on your Instagram. So, And then I dreamt that I had mum's journal, that she'd finished it and, and I needed to do a video to show you all. And then I woke up disappointed because I can't see it. I won't be able to see it until if I go home in the middle of the year. So there we go, we've stuck one piece of paper down. Okay, that's that. That's going to go there. This will be easier. We'll have to send a nice long strip across there. Um, let me think about this. What would I like to put there? Um, wouldn't that be pretty, but it doesn't fit. Okay, we want something that fits. I did bring pull some papers over here so I could use them. Put, oopsie, dropped my paper on the floor. Put that there. See, this is a bit easier. You can just go like this and then put a little crease there. Tear it. I don't know. I think I do. Yes, it's more interesting to me. So what's everyone working on? I'm making all these random things, but I have, I'm very excited to say, I have three journals on the go um, that I've been making quietly because I do have a bit of a list of people. Um, so I need to get cracking on journals besides the the um, antique document and lace one. Uh and so I have been working, just putting them together. I've done the pages and I've, I've put the signatures in. So now I need to do my embellishing. I haven't done anything on the covers. Maybe we could do that in a video. Embellish the covers. I need to have a think about it. Um, I've used Steffi's kit in those because I had prepared them all before the new kit came out. I've used um, his previous new kit that I never used before. The lovely, excuse me got stuff all over my fingers the lovely italian one so i think they'll be really nice the journals okay so we need to put something there get rid of our sticky paper i love all of these these antique trims 
so um, had a good time at the antique market on Saturday with my mother-in-law. Found loads of treasures. I did get some more um, silk fabrics. They're not all exactly the same, but they're still lovely. It took me ages. I had to rifle through and find. I don't know why that doesn't even fit. I had to rifle through and find, you know, the things that I liked. So um, that was good. Now let's go to... I've got scraps here. I've got some scraps. It's still not wide enough. I could put that there and then put something else, couldn't I? There's no reason why not. I'll just cut it. No, I'll tear it. That will go at the top and I'll just trim off the bottom. I'm a bit slow today. Just a bit slow, like, you know, connecting, thinking, getting things done. The brain is not working very fast. So that's that. That can... Oh, no, I think I'll trim that off, actually. Okay. It's coming together. And I do have strips somewhere. I did keep strips. That's the pain about the um, envelopes is that you um, do have to sort of cover up all these bits and pieces. So I'm just going to stick that there and then trim it off so it's flush. That makes life much easier than trying to tear down pieces that fit exactly. So I'm going to glue that there. And actually I can probably wrap that one around. i wrap it around like so. some reason I've decided to start in the middle haven't I hmm. those bits and pieces that I tore off some journal cards some collage oh I love those bits and pieces of paper too they're good ones to use we could have a little piece of, I wonder if one of these will fit that's okay I don't actually mind if you can see a little bit of the gray so I think I'll do that ah oh, that's a piece of the Excuse me for my weird giggle there. That's a piece of the menu from when we went on our holiday in in um, Chianti. On the first day when we went to Greve in Chianti, this was the the straw not the menu, the straw paper placemat. That's what it was. I really don't think that that little bit of grey is a problem. Okay, so that's done, and we just need to find a pretty piece for there. Will do it doesn't cover that bit there but who cares so at the moment i'm thinking these would be good thing you know you'd slip them in as a page in your journal that's what i'm thinking but that could evolve now that's a good piece and these are good pieces to have when you're doing when you're working on envelopes you do need your skinny bits so you need to hold on to those because you do need the skinny bits oh now we have an issue i need to cover that as well because if I take something out of the pocket, I'll be able to see that. So I need to think about that. Okay. So let's do that before I forget. And we might just put some sort of... That's interesting, that book page. Well, we'll just put some regular. Well, no, it's still nice. Oh, that's still very nice. Rag paper, that one. Let's see this one. This is a nice font. We'll do this one just tear it and I need to stick it there like that I think me thinks why do I get everything so sticky so quickly we really do need to create I've, I say I've done I've started so many ideas books I've started so many like Gail has Gail Agostinelli, she has an amazing ideas book. And I think I've got to have one, but I never keep up with it. I'm hopeless. Oh, we can't even see the writing. Doesn't matter. That should be my motto. Doesn't matter. 
Okay, so now we can sort out this mess over here and I might just use, even though it's a bit thick, I'm gonna use that there. I'm just gonna tear it to here, get my glue on, not fuss about it and stick it down. Might have the jagged edge on that side so it's straight near the window. Oops. Oh, goodness gracious. Why won't you slide up there? There we go. Stick it down. Okay, next. I'm going to have this one because I love it. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't even matter if it went over, but I don't want to I don't want to lose my window at all. So I don't want it to be too going over, if you know what I mean. Put that there. So this is why I didn't prepare too many because I won't get too many done. Oh, I, I forgot to even look if I'm on screen. I hope I am. I'll get back on screen if I haven't been. I just want to make sure I hadn't cut that. Good. You could also do the swooshing of the paint and paint them, which would be a, a good thing way to go as well. I just didn't want to get the paints out today, but we might revisit it and do the painting. So then we don't have to do all the collaging because the painting's good. Saves all the collaging. Now, we might want to have this piece. Yeah, I think I'll put that there and have oh then, yes i now have a little something something there so obviously if you've tea dyed them and you don't have a lot of writing on your envelope you don't need to do all of this collaging is what i want to say i didn't finish my sentence and then i think i'm going to have some I think I'd like some page across there. Is that going to work? Yes, I'll just take that off. Put that there and then trim it down. I don't have too much exciting stuff to tell you guys, really. That's why I'm a bit quiet. And also videoing every day. Like, you do, do sort of run out of conversation. I know some people don't like the conversation, so they'll be happy. And I'm going to trim off this bit here. Then I'm thinking, even though the writing will go upside down, you know that doesn't worry me. I'm going to have that fold over there because I like it. That, stick that to my basket. Okay. It's not straight. Okay. Okay. And we need a little pop of colour and we need something there. And I don't have any little strips that are good for there. I might put this one. Well, that one will do it. Oh, I like that. Put that there. Okay, let's just cut. No, tear it. Get the glue on. So we're having a bit of a textile sort of lacy thing going on here. I'm going to put it upside down because I like it more upside down. Isn't that funny? There we go. It is actually really nice when you don't have to worry about the window so much, like because you painted it or whatever. Okay. The next one I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do it, you know how I did the one with the mark making around the window. I think I'll do the next one like that. Now, how come I'm so crooked here? Just trim it. It's really crooked. I saw things floating around outside. I thought it was snowing, but it's not. It's not that cold. It's not cold enough for snow and it's not raining. Okay, so here, now I'm going to make a decision here. 
because um, it's quite thick. So I'm thinking I'm going to fold it. It's a bit wet. Let's leave it to dry and then we'll do the folding. I'm thinking I might snip a bit out of there when I, and then I'll glue this up. Might snip it there. Something like that. And then so that way you don't have all that bulk in the centre. But we'll do that afterwards because I can feel it's wet and it's not um, wanting to crease. Okay, so this one, this one I need to, like, I, I'm going to do it, as I said, the other way where I leave that bit plain, but the, here needs to be covered. So I just, I don't want to choose anything that's got too much of a style happening, like that's a, you know, medieval sort of thing. So I don't want to do that. I just want to stay fairly neutral. I think I'll put this one there again, right across there. So I just tear it. And then trim it down afterwards. Still recording this? Oh, yes, I'm still here. Just smushing my glue on, and then we can stick it down. And I'm going to put that piece there. It's perfect. And I glued my finger as well. Let's get the glue off my finger. Look at that. Everywhere. to do this bit here that will do it just you don't want any lumpy bits So the new arm should arrive today, which would be good. And that way we can be back above what's going on and I don't have to be squished between the ring light and the, the tripod. Just makes it. I shall fold that over. Okay, and then we need a piece down here. Right. Have these lovely old. That's good for the. I've got these pieces. Could stick something like that on, and then add some colour, just some old vintage paper. that up over there I think 
I might put that there. Okay, so that side's done. Now we need to work over here. And I know somewhere I did print out, if I've got them, where did I put them? I printed out some of the, these might be all be tags, some journal cards they are. I printed out somewhere, I'll find them, they could be here, um, some of the sampler pages. I'm sure they must be here. That, oh, no, that's not. No, they're not there. That is. Oh, here yeah, they might be here. Now that's a um, that's one of my Victorian fussy cut kits. Oh my goodness, everything else but. use a bit of that one but I also had oh yeah I like these this one this is all stuff that I need to sort out and pull these out that's what I wanted okay I'd even just do my, you know, like square, just cut them out. Like straight edge. I didn't mean square, I meant straight edge because squares are, this is a rectangle, not a square. You know what I mean. And I'm going to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. I think I'm going to, oh, so that's going to be, oh, I need to leave a little gap. That's right, I need to remember to leave my gap because that's what I was going to do on this one. So I'll do that. I will remember to link Fiona's um, Instagram. She's very clever. Actually, I might put it down here. Leave my gap. Put it there. And fold that around in there. Cool. So that's that. Then we'll have, I think we'll have some of this. Will we? Yeah. Maybe this side, I think. So I'll just tear this. And I'm, I'm going to cut it. That's right. And it needs to go there so I can cut this off. Well, I might leave a bit more so I can wrap that one around as well. New glue time. going to wrap that one up there. I'm going to cut that off as carefully as I can without snipping my bottom off because that's going to be my pocket. Oh, that's a good piece actually. I'm just going to take that piece <laughs> and stick it on here. Where will I stick it? Okay. Perfect. 
Okay, so let's wrap this around here. Now, oh, I quite like that. I think I'll put that up there. And again, I don't want to wrap it around, so I'm just going to trim an amount off. I like what's on the other side. I don't want to have this going around onto the other side. So I'll put that there. That's a good gluey bit there. <laughs> I'm going to stick that on here. Now, we need something up here and something down there. So something not to... I could have this. Maybe I won't put anything there. I just do my dashes. I'll have something tiny. No, that's just white. That's nice there. It's only going to be a tiny bit. piece going across here. That one I'm not going to do in today's video. We'll just leave that because they quite take a little while to do. So we don't want to be here all day doing the same thing. And I'm just trying to see. It's probably, oh, I like this trim. I'm going to cut this. one is going to go here fold that over okay so that's what that looks like there and that's like that now we need to get the Posca pen I'm thinking what color do I want to use gold I don't think would show up enough oh, dark green no, not dark green Dark. I've got dark grey, that's gold. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do the black. Yeah, let's do the black. Oh, 
Oh, and I haven't covered that bit there yet. This bit we need to cover. I really like that. Um, another way I'm just thinking as I do that, that you could do this, um, which might, oh, I think you might go, I would go crooked though. Where did I put that envelope now? I wanted to show you. I put it somewhere. Anyway, I can't find it. I was thinking you could do that bit first if you wanted to, um, and then have your papers meet with the dashes, but you might not go straight with the dashes. Well, I wouldn't. So um, I'm thinking I might like to see that peeking through there. It's not very much of it, is it? Oh, do I only need this piece? I'd love it if I only need Oh, yes, I'll just put that piece there. Perfect, use your scraps. There we go. So that's what we see in that side. I love that one. Okay, so to finish them off, we'll start with this one. It might be a bit drier. Is I want to decide how to fold it. I think I'm going to fold it here. Like so. Not quite half. Like a bit, not quite half. So what I need to do, see here it's how it's all very chunky and thick there. Where your crease is, I'm just going to trim down very slightly on either side of the crease at an angle, maybe a bit further at an angle. It's very thick. To the centre, so that when I glue them down, they don't crash. So I just have to check that because I've gone very close. So that one's good. This one needs to come off a bit a bit further like so so that way when it folds see it doesn't get stuck and it doesn't crease as much and that will be in the center of the signature so what we need to do here is I'll just grab this glue here just run your glue down there and down here yeah, so possibly don't inundate Fiona with requests for journals because I'm pretty sure she doesn't take orders. Just just follow her page and and she's been away at the moment, so she I don't know if she's back. But um, she does post on Instagram when she's selling something. Okay, so that's that one done. So there's my pocket, and that will go in a signature. Um, let me just grab one of the journals that I'm working at. They're already stitched in, so I can't put it in one of those. But just pretend, let's pretend that I, was, I hadn't stitched in my pages yet. Um, lots of pages in here. Just pretend I, I, would, you know, I could have that in, stitched in here as a, a page in the journal, like Fiona did. The only other thing I might do, I might like to do, oh yeah, I mean, you can have that as a little wallety sort of thing and tuck it in a pocket if you want to. Um, I might just snip this corner, because I like it, and that corner. And I'll just let those stick. And then we'll have another look. So that, yeah, you just say that was your signature and you hadn't stitched in, you'd slip those in um, as 
as a little page, little pocket window pocket page. So we've got this one here. We need to do the same here. So let's fold this. I'm going to fold it a little bit longer on the window side. And I oh, love this one's my favourite. Oh, it's just my favourite. Excuse me while I admire it. So then we're going to snip here on just a, a couple of millimetres over your crease and then onto the crease as you go down to the bottom, if that makes sense. I'm just removing some so it doesn't crash into the crease and cause your issues. Very wonky cutting there. Very wonky cutting. I might just glue a little piece of paper there to cover the wonkiness up. That's already sticky. Let's stick that there just to cover that wonky, but it'll be in the center of the signature anyway, so it shouldn't really be an issue. It's because it's so thick, I can't control my scissors when it's thick. I feel like this has been a very zen <laughs> sort of video. I don't normally use that word, do I? But just like totally chilled. I've had a lot of fun creating something new. Thank you, Fiona, for your beautiful work i just love fiona um yeah she's not on youtube just on instagram i don't think she's even on etsy very talented lady her paintings are beautiful too okay and that's that one i love that and then you'll make like a little journal card or tags to go in or put some ephemera in there and then that's another pocket in here that could be left for writing. You could put a little bit of embellishing on there as well. Like I could put, add that. Maybe this up here. I don't know. You can add something if you want to. But I might do that after. And that doesn't need anything. I don't think I love that. There we go. So they're my two pockets. I just did two because they take a bit of time because you've got a lot of surfaces to cover. Unless, as I mentioned, you might coffee or tea dye them and then you're halfway more than halfway there if you've done that so one with the dashes and which i absolutely love and then one without and i think i prefer that one with the dashes might have to become a thing and then that's the back so this could also have something added to it to embellish it as well and same inside so there we go so i hope you enjoyed that um as i said i put the links in the description box i'll link the the kit bits and bits and pieces of kits that i used um and I will see you again tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.